Hi, this is Dr. Ty from Premier Orthodontics, and in this video we're going to tell you how orthodontists fix crossbites with braces. We'll describe the three different types of crossbites and how you can tell if you have one. And then we're going to show you how we like to fix these different types of crossbites in our office. We'll also show you the actual before and after photos of patients who receive crossbite correction, so that way there's no mystery around the process. So today we're talking all about crossbites, but as a reminder, we post braces related content to our channel each week. So if you're in braces or thinking about getting started, make sure to subscribe to see more videos all about braces. So most people have probably heard the term crossbite, but most don't fully understand what a crossbite is or how it can be fixed with braces. So before we start talking about how to fix crossbites, let's first define what a crossbite is as well as the different types. So there are three different types of crossbites and these include a posterior crossbite, anterior crossbite, and a buccal crossbite. If you've never heard these terms before, that's fine. We'll next describe each type of crossbite and show examples of each one. So what is a posterior crossbite? The word posterior means further back in position. So a posterior crossbite is a crossbite that occurs on the back teeth. In cases of posterior crossbite, upper teeth will be more narrow than the lower teeth. So ideally, the upper teeth should be wider than the bottom teeth and should sit outside of the lower teeth. This image here is a good example of how we would want the back teeth to sit. Now let's look at an example of a posterior crossbite, where the upper teeth sit inside of the lower teeth. In this picture, both sides of the upper arch fit inside of the bottom teeth, and this is called a bilateral posterior crossbite because it is a crossbite that occurs on both sides. So another type of posterior crossbite is when just one side of the upper arch falls inside of the lower teeth. This is called a unilateral posterior crossbite, and the picture here is a good example. You can see that the teeth on the right side sit entirely inside of the lower arch. So now that we've defined what a posterior crossbite is, let's discuss anterior crossbites. So what is an anterior crossbite? The word anterior means nearer to the front in position. So an anterior crossbite is a crossbite that occurs on the front teeth. When one or more of the top teeth fall inside of the bottom teeth, this is an anterior crossbite. This picture here is a good example of a single tooth anterior crossbite. You can see that just one tooth on the upper arch falls behind the teeth on the lower arch. Another type of anterior crossbite is where multiple teeth sit behind the lower teeth. This is sometimes called an underbite, and the patient here is a good example. Both single tooth anterior crossbites and underbites are defined as anterior crossbites because they occur with the front teeth. So now let's discuss what a buccal crossbite is. The word buccal means relating to the cheek. So a buccal crossbite, sometimes referred to as a scissor bite, is when the back teeth sit entirely outside of the lower arch and sit too close to the cheek. The picture here is a good example of a buccal crossbite. You can see that this patient's back teeth on the right side sit entirely outside of the lower arch and don't bite against the lower teeth at all. So you may be wondering why orthodontists consider a crossbite a problem. And aside from the fact that crossbites don't look great cosmetically, they can also cause some significant tooth and jaw problems over time. So crossbites can cause a traumatic bite leading to chipped and damaged teeth. They can cause asymmetric jaw growth. Also, they can cause TMJ and jaw joint problems. And in general, they can restrict the airway leading to snoring and other sleep problems. So not only can crossbites become physically uncomfortable if left untreated, but they often get more difficult to fix as one gets older. Crossbites, including posterior crossbites, anterior crossbites, and buccal crossbites, should be fixed as soon as possible. Orthodontists prefer to fix these types of problems as early as possible, and usually start as early as age 7 in growing children. However, they can still be corrected in older children, teens, and adults. If you think you or your child may have a crossbite, it is recommended that they be evaluated by an orthodontist right away. So now that we've defined what crossbites are and why they should be fixed, let's discuss specific treatments for each type of crossbite, and we'll show you before and after photos of patients who had crossbites corrected in our office. So first, let's talk about posterior crossbites. If a patient has a mild posterior crossbite, they may be treated with a combination of braces and rubber bands. This type of treatment usually works best when only a single tooth is in crossbite, and the patient shown in this picture is a good example. You can see that just one tooth of the back teeth are in crossbite relationship. In this animation, you'll see how braces and rubber bands can be used in combination to correct mild crossbites. You can see the elastic bands gradually expand the upper arch, while simultaneously constrict the lower arch. The patient shown in the previous photos was treated with braces and crossbite elastics. You can see that the strategy was effective by comparing the before and after photos. 
The type of treatment is effective in patients who don't have a severe posterior crossbite and only need minor correction. Next, let's discuss treatment of a moderate posterior crossbite. If a patient has a more serious posterior crossbite, a combination of braces and a quad helix expander may be needed. This patient here is a good example of a moderate posterior crossbite. This patient has a unilateral posterior crossbite or a crossbite that occurs just on one side. These types of crossbites can often be treated with a combination of braces and a quad helix expander. This type of expander can be used with young children, teens, and adults. And in this animation, you can see how a quad helix expander can help expand the upper arch and correct a moderate posterior crossbite. We actually have a separate video all about quad helix expanders, and if you'd like to check it out, we'll link to it in the description below. The patient example discussed earlier received a combination of braces and a quad helix expander. And you can see from her before and after photos that she was able to get full correction of her posterior crossbite by expanding the upper teeth. Now let's talk about how we would correct a severe posterior crossbite. If a patient has a severe crossbite, a combination of braces and a rapid palatal expander or RPE may be needed. This type of expander expands both the teeth on the upper arch as well as the bones of the palate. This type of expander is generally used only in young children and in growing teenagers. Since this appliance is designed to expand the bones of the palate, it can only be done successfully within that age range. The patient shown here is a good example of a severe posterior crossbite that would benefit from a rapid palatal expander. You can see that she has a bilateral posterior crossbite or a crossbite that occurs on both sides. And this animation will demonstrate what a rapid palatal expander or RPE looks like and how it can help to expand the upper arch and correct a severe posterior crossbite. The patient shown earlier received a combination of braces and a rapid palatal expander. And notice in her before and after photos that she was able to get full correction of her posterior crossbite through expansion of the upper arch. Now let's shift gears and discuss how we fix anterior crossbites with braces. As a reminder, an anterior crossbite occurs with the front teeth. And if a patient has a single tooth anterior crossbite, they can usually be treated with a combination of braces and bite pads. The patient shown here is a good example of a single tooth anterior crossbite. You can see that just one of his front teeth sits behind the lower teeth. With the bite in this position, it would not be possible to place brackets on the upper teeth without the lower teeth biting down on top of the brackets and breaking them off. So in order to bring the single tooth forward over top of the bottom teeth with braces, we would need to prop open the bite by placing bite pads on the back teeth. Bite pads are small mounds of dental composite, usually blue in color, that props the bite open and allows the teeth to move forward. These bite pads will typically be placed at the same time as braces, and they are removed once the bite is corrected. With the patient shown before, you can see that braces with bite pads help to align his teeth, correct the anterior crossbite, and improve the look and health of his mouth. Fixing a single tooth anterior crossbite is a much simpler process than fixing an anterior crossbite with multiple teeth. These types of bites are usually called underbites, and fixing them is a long topic. We actually have an entire video dedicated to this topic. You can find a link to the video in the description below. There are times that some patients will actually have a combination of posterior and anterior crossbite. This patient shown here is a good example. You can observe from these photos that the back teeth on the upper arch are too narrow when compared to the lower teeth, and this is a posterior crossbite. Also, one of the front teeth on the top is sitting behind the front teeth on the bottom, which is an anterior crossbite. So a combination of rapid palatal expansion, braces, and bite pads were used to help treat this patient. You can observe from the pictures that the patient was able to get full bite correction and got a great result. So finally, let's discuss how we fix buckle crossbites. Buckle crossbites are sometimes called scissor bites or brody bites. This type of crossbite is not very common, but it is one that orthodontists see from time to time. The patient shown here is a good example of a buccal crossbite. You can see that the entire upper arch on the right side sits outside of the lower arch. In order to correct buccal crossbites, a combination of braces, bite pads, and elastics are needed to help expand the lower arch and constrict the upper arch. This is best visualized by watching this animation. You can see that over time, the elastic bands will constrict the upper arch while simultaneously expanding the lower arch. With the patient we showed earlier, he was treated with a combination of braces and elastics and bite pads. We were able to get full correction of the buccal crossbite. So in this video, we discussed three different types of crossbites and how we like to fix these different types of bite problems in our office. And there are lots of different methods and appliances and the only way to know for certain which one would work best for you or your child is to have a consultation with an orthodontist. If you're living in the Phoenix, Arizona area, we'd love to see you for a 100% free consultation. At this consultation appointment, we will discuss the best way to fix your crossbite and answer any other questions you may have. If you want to learn more about bite correction with braces, we have an entire playlist dedicated to this topic, which you can find on our YouTube channel. 
And if you have any questions about cross bites, feel free to ask them in the comment section below and we'll do our best to answer. If you found this information helpful, please help us out and give this video a like. Also, if you'd like to get notified when we release new braces related videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel and tap the notification bell. If you want to learn more about underbite correction, you can click this video here. And to see our most recent video, click over here. Thank you so much and we'll talk to you soon.